Yeah, so the goal has always been the same for everything that we do, and that is to free entrepreneurs. And people ask, what does that mean? Well, a lot of times entrepreneurs will quit a 40 hour a week job and go work 100 hours a week so they can be free, right? You know, our only goal is to get the business organized in such a way and get the systems in place, get the autopilot pieces in place so that entrepreneurs can not only love their business, but they can love their life too, right? They, they can have that time to spend with friends, to spend with family, to do the things that they love to do. So that's always been goal number one, free the entrepreneur. So what works for video content in 2022? First and foremost, you need to pay attention to YouTube Shorts because it has all kinds of artificial gravity around it right now because they're trying to, trying to jump into uh, TikTok Sandbox. So what that means is they're giving a ton of views to YouTube Shorts. So you need to be doing that. You need to be doing TikTok. TikTok is massive now and it's not just for people doing funny dance videos. It is for business all day, every day. You need to be doing that as well. You need to be posting content on, on Facebook, on Reels, on YouTube Shorts, on TikTok. And the other thing is, what's gonna make it work? What's gonna make people watch your video? It's really simple, go back to the same three things. It's all about the copy. Do you have a headline? Every video should start with a headline. The most three seconds are the most important thing, so start with that headline. Secondly, are you using their greatest fear, their greatest desire in your headline? Are you connecting to them emotionally and lastly are you using curiosity you've got to use curiosity creating great video content is just like writing great copy never ever be uncomfortable with the space between your dreams and your reality fill that space with constant inspired action and there is absolutely nothing you can't accomplish yeah yeah my granddad was an entrepreneur uh, and my dad was an entrepreneur also and uh, I learned a lot of amazing lessons from from those those two guys but they didn't know anything about the internet or, or internet marketing you know it was, a, it was a completely different world then you know I, I really tried to take the lessons that I learned from them you know about marketing about sales about closing deals about under promising and over delivering and all these all these incredible things I learned from them and take those lessons and move those into the online space, into internet marketing. And it's a completely different skill set, uh, but the evergreen lessons behind them um, are really all the same. Much wiser men than I have said, take care of your relationships before anything else, because in the final analysis, they're more important than everything else.